rapidly and it was produced by the Church of England quite a few years ago now. But one thing I like about it is it shows a diversity of voices and the situations as well where we can use prayer in, in our front lines in the everyday. Prayer isn't just reserved for Sundays, I know you know that already. We have a God who is everywhere and hears us wherever we are, whoever we are and whatever we are doing. We just saw a snippet of a variety of situations in our world, each saying Je the words that Jesus taught us. Maybe as a mode of comfort, a time of peace, or at a time of celebration. The Lord's Prayer is one that's well known to many of us. We may have learnt it in school or Sunday school, yet just because it's familiar doesn't make it any less powerful. This is a big, big prayer. A prayer not to be offered, um, which we're going to be looking at later in our meeting. And we're going to be breaking it down, and Faith will be doing that for us, line by line, as to what it actually means when we pray it. So we're going to think about that just a little later on, and then see how we pray it in the days ahead. But just now, we're going to listen to the announcements for today. Um, tomorrow night, Monday, 6 o'clock, should be final practice at our hall. All of that is depending on COVID, but at the moment it's all looking positive that it will go ahead. Um, this coming week, there's a couple of safeguarding dates this week for children's safeguarding training. If you have not been, can I encourage you to come along? Um, it's very simple training. You watch a DVD, and then there's discussion questions. It's just about keeping everyone safe that we may come into contact with and the procedures just in case we have any concerns. And just trying to make our building when people come into us or interact in any way with the Salvation Army know that it is a safe and welcoming place. So this week is on Tuesday the 15th of March at 11am and Wednesday the 16th of March at 6pm. That's the Children's Safeguarding and there's a sign-up sheet over there. Just autograph that on your way out, and um, it'd be great if you can come along and attend that. Um, just a reminder due to the number of cases we have on the island at the moment, we're continuing the Scottish regulations at the moment. We're wearing a mask unless we're medically exempt. We have sign sanitizers across the hall. We're encouraged to test regularly before we come and gather, and. Um, I know you've been doing this for so long, um, but we just thought it was important just to remind you all again um, of the importance of doing these regular things, these regular checks, um, and having the social distance in place um, just because cases are so high. We want to keep everyone safe. If you can't attend for whatever reason, or if you do test positive or you're a close contact, speak to us, let us know. We can post things out regularly by email. We're also happy to send out the Sunday link in the post and we're on YouTube as well if you have access to that. But just get in contact with us if you need anything. Um, for those of you who would like to help in the kitchen or the emergency vehicle, you're going to need an up-to-date food hygiene certificate. This training is free, it can be done online. Um, Faith will need to check if you have an account, um, so please speak to Faith after the meeting. Um, but just before faith comes, that's the end of the announcements. I know it's long, it doesn't make sense. As always, just ask, or if it still doesn't make sense, ask faith. Um, but before she brings us her message this morning, thinking about the Lord's Prayer, um, I wonder if there's any particular line of the Lord's Prayer that stood out to you this morning. What would that be? The line that stood out to me was, 